My name is Mia Shem. One year and one month ago, I went with my best friend to a dance party. It became a bloodbath. Hundreds of young men and women were shot, dismembered, and, and others were brutally kidnapped to the tunnels of hell in Gaza. It was shot and point blank range when my arm almost detached from my body, hanging and bleeding. All around me, I heard screams of people being raped and murdered while their butchers left. Elia Toledano, my best friend, was kidnapped before my eyes. I did know, I did not know that we would be murdered and I would never see him again. I was then dragged by my air into a car with seven Hamas monsters who kidnapped me while shouting with joy. For 50 days, I was kept alone, suffering from unbearable pain in my hand without any treatment. A Hamas terrorist will sit in front of me in a dark room with a gun point at my head. Not a single humanitarian agency saw me or treat me, even as my arm got worse. Where was the Red Cross? Where was the UN demanding that we have access to us? On day 50, I was lowered into the tunnels of hell, where I was kept in a small cage with five other Israeli women. Two armed terrorists made sure we sat in the dark in silence. When I returned home, I needed life-saving surgery on my arm. It's been over a year, and the UN is not lifted a finger to free the hostages. You sit here in your comfortable chairs, demanding the lives of my friends as if they are political issues and not innocent people being tortured by terrorists. I ask you, why do we have even a United Nations if you won't stand for us in the darkness of moments? What guru are your resolutions, your debates, your empty promises? If the sick, the elderly, mothers and their children are left to rot in terror tunnels, I stand here to echo the cries of the 101 hostages who have now been in hell for over a year. Look at me. I am proof they can still be saved. In this moment, 60 meters underground with no air, no light, no hope, my friends are still being held by monsters. My heart is still with them, captive in Gaza. I stand here and demand that you bring them all home now. Just be human. Find some morality, find some courage, and speak up. Help us bring them home. Thank you very much.